What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the uh, the last, I guess, panel repair or panel installation, whatever you want to call it. So a uh, big day, big day. It's always a big day over here. We're knocked out our customer work for the day and we're going to go ahead and hop back into our GTR. I was going to get this thing on the rotisserie right now, but then I figured I might as well just get the roof at least, you know, welded in while it's on the cart, you know, just while it's in a relaxed state. So let's go ahead. I'll kind of walk you guys through the whole procedure and what we're about to do here. Let's get this roof done. Man, full grind mode, guys. Been hustling. I just actually recall I, I wrote this down years ago, man. You can do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, we got this thing back in place. Crazy to see this thing back in, back on the on the roof where it's supposed to be. It's been a minute. But yeah, everything fits up. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. Come on now. It's been a hectic last few days. Let's just let's just start off by saying that. So this is like three days later, and I just saved you guys the boredom of just me doing all the fabrication work. You guys have seen enough of it, I know. So uh, let me just walk you guys through exactly what we did because, uh, again, as always, it turned out incredible. And I just, honestly, I didn't even really... Let me just show you. So I just spent the last couple days rebuilding the entire like flanges for the front and the rear portions of the roof. You guys can probably just tell just by looking at these. It's just very pitted and corroded and I just didn't feel comfortable. There was a point in time where I was just like, all right, let me just, let's just apply the rust converter, get them sealed up, epoxy prime, they'll be fine, get them as clean as we can. But honestly, it just didn't sit well with me. After all the work and all the effort that we went into this thing, it's just, it just didn't sit well. So I just had to go ahead, spend the extra couple days and just get this knocked out. Another thing that actually was a positive of the outcome is the fact that i no longer have to weld up these huge these huge plug weld holes because so you guys know the the plug weld drill bits that you can get from harbor freight it's like a small hole saw that's what you get when you use right here it's uh it just creates a massive hole so it just requires a lot of welding so much heat goes into filling a plug like a hole that size so so that was another positive now we can just do our really awesome oem like tig weld fusion technique by the way tell me tell me that's not oem i mean that's about as good as oem as it gets without coming straight off the assembly line guys those welds that's straight off the gun that is no finishing that is no sanding that is just raw off the torch looks incredible now you guys know the oem ones kind of have like that same look right just a nice little dimple to squeeze we got the same thing, man. It's just it's just so cool to see that, you know? And there's no sanding required. It's epic. So that's going to create a really speedy process. Let me and I'm sorry about the war zone. It's been absolutely crazy here. So let me take you guys over to the uh the actual roof skin. So first off, you guys can see we got all sanded primes all ready to rock. It's got a 2K epoxy primer. You guys know the deal. The epoxy primer is by far the best stuff you guys want to use on direct like on metal. It's uh, it's it's bulletproof, man. Let's go ahead. Now uh, that's obviously painted up. Now I also went ahead. We painted up the uh, the inner, inner like the inner skeleton up here. So I'm gonna go ahead now and just test fit everything for the one last time. Make sure we're all happy. And once I'm good, we'll go ahead and weld the weld the roof skin on, man. That's it. That's the last panel, man. Whew. What a journey. Let's knock it out.
Well, man, there it is. So the main purpose for this test fit, I actually forgot to uh, mark out and obviously it would have been difficult with the primer now here. But I was gonna mark out exactly where I need to uh, grind down the primer so I can apply my panel bond. So from factory, these things come with like a little cushion, like a little seam sealer adhesive up here, just to add like a little structure, that little inner skeleton kind of presses up against the roof skin. So that way you can't like easily press down. It's not so floppy up here. Not that it is, but it's just an extra support. We're gonna go ahead and bump up the material to the panel bond. So I'm gonna basically just mark out where that skeleton lies and then mark out on the roof. That way we can grind all the paint off, get our surface area all prepped up, ready to apply our stuff. And then at that point, we can go ahead and get this thing welded on and applied and we'll be looking real good, man. This is, this is also another big moment in the build. Pumped. We're just chugging. I think like we're just chugging along. I feel like things are just moving so fast. I'm moving so fast. And I just, it's just, wow, you know, it's kind of sometimes I'm just, I want to sit back and let's, let's just, let's get this installed. I'm just now starting to realize how freaking challenging this is going to be to install this with all the stuff on here. I guess we're about to find out and see how it goes. No, just ran out. Are you kidding me? This is the last little bit I need. Ooh, I don't really want to pop open a new tube, you know, just for this. I actually did end up buying one because I figured this would happen, but. Oh my God, I wasn't even recording that whole time. That's insane. Woo, I just, I just ran out of this. This just ran out on me and I was able to kind of press it out. I did the old DIY tech. You guys see this took the nozzle off, did the old DIY tech to get the last little squeeze. That was actually kind of funny. Damn. All right, so, you, so after all that struggle, I just ended up loading up the new. Okay, wow, this is happening. This is happening, guys. We're doing it, man. Last panel, I'm running around like a freaking madman. Okay, how are we gonna install this? I don't know, but we're about to find out. I wanna put some more here, might as well, since I can. Okay, again, I have no clue how this is gonna go. We're gonna do it together. All right, GTR, this is the moment. This is our moment. Get things clamped and in place, and I'll catch you guys up, all right? So I'm just reading uh, the 3M like technical data sheet that comes with the panel bond stuff. 
3M literally has a lifetime guarantee. Listen to this. 3M warns the purchaser that 3M panel bonding adhesive will perform to the 3M strength and corrosion resistance uh, for the life of the vehicle. That's crazy. This warranty covers parts, materials, labor, and loss of the vehicle. Brother, man, come on. Like, if, if I know some people will be like a little bit questionable. Oh, this guy's using glue. No, bro, this is way crazier than just glue. You guys can see the fitment everywhere is absolutely beautiful. So you guys can see this is exactly what I have rebuilt on both sides. Front and back. Same deal here in the front, you guys can see absolutely i mean so much time and effort guys so much time and work went into that but you know what it's worth it it came out absolutely great and it's gonna make welding it a breeze so i'm gonna keep on chugging away keep this progress keep this keep this momentum up man because it's uh, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool to see so uh, i'm gonna get the welder out and get the welding All right, guys, there we have it. Look at those spot welds, absolutely beautiful. A couple I just need to go ahead and touch up. I had one, I think, right, there it is right there that I have to go ahead and toss some filler in, but they just look so incredible, man. I can't get over how, how nice they look, you know, just right off, right off the torch, boys. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I don't think I, I introduced my beautiful jungle gym situation going on in here to kind of get my whole upper skeleton in its position and basically to, to do what it's supposed to do. Because if it's, if it's not butted up against the roof skin, there's literally no point of it. Um, I mean, I, maybe that's arguable, but just, just I, it just doesn't seem like they would do anything, right? The purpose of that is just so you can't really like fold and bend the roof in so easily. That's sorted out. The fitment up in here is absolutely beautiful. You guys can see we are just butted up, man. Ooh, I just, I'm just, I'm just thrilled, guys. Everything is coming out so good and the quality and for what, what I'm able to do, just like here I am by myself, you know what I mean? Like what I'm able to do here is pretty crazy. So I'm just, I'm really looking forward to the future. Once I get a, a team of guys under me and more equipment, more space, it's gonna be crazy, man. I'm literally looking forward to offering this type of service and stuff like that. And uh, you know, whether it's just small repairs, repairing your roof flanges, full restoration, underside stuff, engine bay stuff, interior, you guys get the deal. So just learning a lot, man. I'm learning a lot, getting a lot of experience on these chassis. So that's really, you can't buy that anywhere else. So it's good, it's going good. I'm gonna go ahead and get this front flange knocked out, get it all welded up and we'll be, uh, we'll be in good shape. Well, next day, this the panel bond is fully cured. I got the welds all about 95% complete. I just got a few more just like right there I got to do. And then obviously just along the sides here, I just haven't gotten to that point. I just did all the TIG work. But for today, guys, man, look at how just absolutely good. Everything is just coming out. I, I, I know I can re repeat myself, but it's genuinely true. Also, <laughs> solid as a rock, baby. Man, that panel bond stuff is absolutely awesome, man. Tied in with the welds. It just is such a good product, man. It's such a good product. And it's actually crazy. I didn't even realize they warranty it like that. So really cool. So, I mean, honestly, the lines, everything, guys, <laughs> everything has been going so smoothly. It's, it's really nice. Everything lines up, fits up. The fitment, the gaps, 
the amount of stuff that we've removed on this car and the fact that it's all lining up the way it is, I just, I just really can't get over that fact. It's pretty incredible. Definitely, it's, uh, it's really cool to know that we now have this skill and are, I guess I'm way more confident because at first I was a little bit, you know, early stages, I was like, damn, this is kind of crazy. But now I'm just like, dude, this is just normal. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of wild how your mindset shifts after you get uh, comfortable, you know, with, uh, with anything, I guess. You know, at first it's always a little scary to dip toes in, you know, whenever you're trying something new. But after you do it a bit, you get better at it, you enjoy it. It's like, damn, this is just like riding a bike, man. Another day, baby. Let me know how you guys think everything turned out from the repairs on the flange, like I said, all of this up till about here. I tried to just keep like where the, where the fold is just so we had that body line and that shape kept. And then all these spot welds came out so damn good, guys. The penetration is beautiful. You guys can see there's a little gap right there. That's where we gotta do some more welding. But dude, all the penetration is just absolutely incredible. So I did uh, an inch gap on all of the spot welds. We'll kind of see if we want to, I mean, that, that's already way more than they came from from factory. So we'll see. Same in the back here in inch increments. Woo. Can you guys see that? No, nope, you can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looking great, man. Looking great. Another look at all these old pieces. I mean, this is just, this is just poor. What is this? You know, it's just all pitted. It's super thin. You guys can see all of like the black marking and the pitting and these things. It's just, that's all rust, you know, it's all rust. And it's just to, to get that all out. You guys see all of that, all the black, that's all rust. So to, to get all that away, I would have been sanding and sanding and sanding. And by before we know it, we would have been even sandblasting it. We would have ended up with like some tin foil. So way better that we went the way that we did. And obviously these, these, these plug welds would have been huge to have to do this many at least. You know, a few is all right, but this many would have been nuts. Don't know if I showed you guys, but we got our new brand new OEM rear bumper brackets. So that's going to be nice. Fitment in the rear should be absolutely pristine with these bad boys. As far as what's next, guys, man, back on the rotisserie, man. Got to get that slow roast to perfection. It's going to go on there for the final time. This is it, guys. That roofing well done on was the final panel, the final thing that needed to be done now as, as far as what's left we'll walk through it because honestly i kind of forgot what needs to be done but just like some final welding up here and there all the major repairs are done i still am undecided what i want to do with my engine bay we'll see we'll get to that when we get to that but first things first guys we'll be getting this thing back up on the rotisserie another big moment the build checked off man we're cooking we're absolutely cooking it's been cool to actually bet some get some progress uh, consistently on this car it's uh, it's pretty cool man we're really chugging along so drop a comment down below say what's up let me know what you guys think of all the progress and how the car is turning out so far i i honestly i couldn't be more i couldn't be more thrilled it's uh yeah man it's just crazy it's just crazy like we did that like i did that you know it's just crazy to me a little bit all right subscribe if you guys are new I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later, guys.